Hello, today we discuss fish disease case number 7, about goldfish, Carassius aratus, who were skinny and were dying. This is a problem we found at a big fish farm, which I was invited to find solutions for this kind of problem. You see the many skinny fish at the bottom, some dead ones of this big pond. And the importer and wholesaler was having some losses. So we were trying to find out what is the problem on these skinny goldfish. So we examined the fish as good as we can. What is typical was the design that the fish were having very heavy respiration problems. The gills were open, so he has a problem in the gills. And you see this skinny body here, the fish were getting emaciated, so not eating, suffering. The first thing we found when doing a skin scraping, is see, we found that the scales were badly damaged. Look, eroded and eroded damaged scales. This is usually due to internal bacterial infections. So this is the first signal or symptom to tell us what's going on. When we checked the, the gills, we found that bacterial infections did damage the gills. And other gills were very badly advanced, rotten away. So the fish were suffering from gill rot. Internally, we found granulomas in the intestine and the organs. Here is the intestine. And here are the organs, the spleen and the liver. You see the granulomas. You see this granuloma here, encapsulated by the organs. Also the kidneys were very badly functioning because they had many granulomas inside. And this is causing a risk that the gills had to do much extra work. Because if the gills cannot, can, if the kidneys cannot do the job to excrete the ammonia or excrete the ammonia, then the gills have to do it. So the gills are overloaded with stress to do that extra work and that can have an impact on the quality of the fish. So our conclusion was that the badly damaged fish had poor working or failing organs, gills and kidneys due to a bacterial infection with granulomas. So the fish starts to weaken, not eating and dying. The treatment well, the lab examination found that the granulomas had different kinds of bacteria and most of it we found were mycobacteria, which are difficult to treat because the granulomas are encapsulated, so no medicine can reach and that means a good percentage will die. So the problem came from the fish farm. Only at the beginning stage the fish could be treated or the fish which were still having a good body shape and a good condition. So the, the antibiogram could show that we could use canamycin or rifampicin as, as treatment. So the origin of the problem could have been the food that is polluted with mycobacterium and the mother fish that pass on the mycobacterium via the gonads to the eggs. And that I explained in my training on fish disease part one. So this is the kind of solution we could give for this problem. If you need more information, Stay in contact with my playlist on YouTube, subscribe and you can learn more in the future about fish disease. I thank you for your attention to become a good aquarist.